Well, hello, friends. My Mossberg 930 has been giving me a little bit of problems on the range lately. Not wanting to, having some failure to fires and some light hammer, uh, primer strikes. So, after much debate and, and messing around with it, I decided I'm gonna try to put a different firing pin in it and see if that helps it. The springs look all fine. I don't see any reason why it's not uh, springs. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've kind of decided it may be the firing pin. So I went ahead and bought one from uh, Midwest Gunworks. Uh, and uh, they beat the uh, price uh, considerably from uh, Mossberg proper. And then I went on the internet and you know kind of did a little due diligence there trying to find some disassembly videos for a Mossberg 930 bolt and uh, there wasn't any so here we go here's one for you it's uh, fairly straightforward though I've already measured the protrusion of my firing pin uh, at uh, is that zero point zero three three so we'll see what happens here in a little bit when I put the new firing pin in there anyway like most things it's held together with roll pins so you've got a little roll pin right there That's your punch And away she goes. Happy roll pin. Now I'm adding that firing pins under there and some spring pressure. So you're going to want to capture that whenever you pull your fire uh, your uh, roll pin, your, your punch out. Can't speak. And here we go. Firing pin is removed. Then there's a little spring in there, your firing pin spring. Set him aside. Like that. There you go. And the spring looks like it's in good shape too. Alright, so we go to our Midwest industry of our Midwest Gunworks. They're not giving me any money, but I figure I'd give them a shout out anyway. Uh, and uh, here's their firing pin. Now, without boring you and measuring it all together, we're just going to go ahead and I could, I could, I guess, mic them and see where they end up. But the end point is when it's back in the bolt anyway. That's the big thing that matters, I guess. See what it looks like. It's simple to put everything back together anyway. So here we go, back together. We get our spring and probably be easier to do it like this. Put that spring on the firing pin. And then insert the firing pin in. Yeah, that worked out pretty slick. And now we gotta get everything lined up so it gets going. There we go. Felt it slip in there. Alright. And Kind of get that set in there. And there we go. All right, so it's still sitting up a little proud on the bolt. You don't want that because that will, might damage your firearm and definitely not make it function as slick. So you want that roll pin to be below the surface there. So. Let's tap it in a little bit. There we go, it's definitely below the surface there. Look on the back side, there it's below the surface too. Everything's in. Now, what's this protrusion gonna look like? I'm gonna mic too. It's about the same. So I don't know, maybe I wasted my $16. 
but anyway it'll be a fun project to do and let's see probably not gonna see me being able to mic this with all yeah I don't know I'm gonna hold it to get y'all to see what I'm about to do but anyway I'm gonna get that protruding then I'm gonna get my, my, my calipers out and yeah I'm gonna do this off camera I'm trying to do it with on cameras just being problematic so let me sit down and do this and forgive me for this part of it being not in your view Maybe it will be. Put my calipers on there. Come on, Robert. Mutter yourself a little bit. Y'all laugh at my fumble fingers. Come on. Beat me up in the comments. Yeah, that's probably the gazillion easier ways to do things, but hey, you know. More than one way to skin the cat. This is my cat. Y'all are just holding legs and tail right now. And lower it down to firing pin, protrude firing pin makes contact. And well, okay. Okay, so we mic it 0 0.039. So it's already protruding a little bit more because, like I said, it uh, 0 0.33. So at 39, that's definitely a little bit better protrusion. We'll have to take it to the range and see if that's uh, what the deal is. So anyway, y'all have fun out there.